What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We got the Motive Pride today. Newest release from Motive. Uh, supposedly an asymmetric benchmark. Not really sure how this one's going to go down, but... Core numbers on the Pride with the all-new Dominion Core Coercion UCS cover stock, which stands for Ultimate Continuation Solid. Core numbers are 249... 041 with an 01 intermediate differential. Now if you remember these core numbers are very very similar to the recoil, the Venom recoil which is 248, 032 and 011. So the real only difference to speak of is the differential. On this one I went 60 by 5 by 30 with a 2 inch pin buffer. Just trying to gain a little bit more continuation from what I have my recoil drilled at which is 20 by 4 and 3 quarters by 30 with a 2 inch pin buffer trying to get it to to give me something on a shorter patterns when urethane isn't looking the greatest that I can get to roll forward off the end of the pattern but without further ado let's hop into the video Now this is not a fresh house shot. This has at least three games of league on it and I don't think I was the first open bowler to bowl on it at the time of this recording. So I'm trying to get it to sit from straight and this is fresh out of box surface. These are not the first first shots I've thrown. I threw maybe five or six shots to get warmed up before this but the motion that I'm seeing is if you mix the Venom shock with the Venom recoil, that's pretty much what you're going to get. You're going to get the Venom shock shape for the most part with the controllability of the Venom recoil. And I'm not the greatest at making things look good from playing right as it is, but most guys aren't with a 540 rev rate. So I'm trying to throw it quite a bit harder here, which is why I fall off a lot of these shots while I'm playing right. But you guys can tell the shot is not the greatest to say the least uh, I plan on doing a, another ball review a little bit later on on a fresh house shot I'd like to interrupt this video to bring you a short word from our sponsor. I'm the sponsor. Thanks guys. Um, hopefully this video is somewhat informative and if not, hit the dislike button. But if it is, smash the like button right, right down here. Thanks guys. Back to the previously scheduled video. As we're getting farther left with this, this is where the drilling that you guys decide to go with really comes into play the most because the cover itself allows this ball to be clean enough that you can get it to continue just fine from left. And anybody that tells you that the ball doesn't continue from left, either you don't have enough rotation to make anything continue, or B, you don't have a rev rate which is a very real possibility but at that point you should probably be looking at stronger balls than the pride but that's just my interpretation of what this ball can do 
And I'm not shaming anybody if they don't have a rev rate or if you're speed dominant and you can't get a ball that hits the way I do, but you're going to have to find something and compare what ball reaction you're getting to what ball reaction I'm getting because every house plays different, every ball rolls different, everything is going to be different when you're the one throwing the ball instead of me. Thanks for watching guys. Comment down below. Do you guys want to see the Super Enzo comparison first or do you want to see the Benchmark Battleground video for this first? It's going to be posted next week. Whatever gets commented down below. It's either going to be a Super Enzo comparison or the Benchmark Battleground comparison. Right here's a link to the Benchmark Battleground if you want to see what that is. Right here's a, a subscribe thing and right here is a link to the playlist of every ball review that I've done for Motive. And I am a non-staff Motive bowler. I just like their products and I would prefer to stay made in the USA. As always, may the carry be in your favor and bowl well.